like you said, pages can't be ripped out of. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me fall back. You were doing some editing, so please, please uh, explain to me, uh, uh, Rondo, what you've been doing, man. <laughs> no, know, I wasn't editing. Fun. I was just letting people. All I was doing was while I was waiting, I was just telling them, like, this is the main thing. You need to make sure you have a date. Yes. Time and place and time of each thing. Don't black. I said, black. I said, black. I I was saying, you know, in the hood, we've been taught that when somebody does something they're not supposed to do, you don't tell, you don't snitch, you don't, you know. Right, right. So, that's why social workers are trying to brainwash you. Put it in the trash. What are you waiting for? You know what I'm saying? That's that's white ass social workers trying to brainwash you. Right. And they're trying to keep their money. You highlighted what people need to know dates, times, objective information. Man, thank you for highlighting that. Yeah. Hey, hey, yo, yo. In these videos right here, this is a. I know it seems silly. I, um, thank, thank you for highlighting uh, this photos. Right. It was chicken. Excuse me. Chicken scratch. This was chicken scratch. I did this like really fast outside the Bank of America branch, and, and I was going ham. I'm looking dead in the eyes. The managers, the security guard. From 3.58 p.m., wherever I left outside, I'm looking dead in the eyes. And, oh, my gosh, you wouldn't believe how much they were pleading with me to stop documenting what I'm doing. You wouldn't believe, audience, at how many supervisors at Bank of America called my phone after I started this process. You would not believe. You would not believe how many supervisors at Bank of America Start calling my phone. They don't want this lawsuit, but it's too motherfucking late. I'm not going to sue them. The audience has received this information. Anybody at this branch who's been victimized and has felt fear or harm and their needs weren't met Mm -hmm. by a misleading message. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can talk about my law injuries. How would I sign on the... Oh, we politely do this. Why well, about Google Maps? Saying 5 p.m. They're open to. How about how many hundreds of customers in D.C. Silver Spring who try to come to the Spring Avenue branch or this branch and their ATM cards are shredded and they can't get their money and are suffering that 8511 George Avenue doesn't care. But by the way, Paula, her name is anonymous, and then she was not elderly. She's probably in her 30s or 40s. She might have been a mom. I think she relayed. She didn't know how to get money to fill up her gas tank because her car was fucking shredded. And she doesn't know why. At Spring Street at 4 p.m. And this all she get is this. Oh, no, no, no. She walked over. Yeah, that's all she gets. She walked over. Google Maps directed her to that. Yeah, that's all she gets. To this branch, 8511 Georgia Avenue. It's open until 5 p.m. But that's what Same they put time. a sign up. All the signs up 24 hours. No, no, no. They don't put a sign up at 4 p.m. It's just up 24 hours. It's a courtesy sign. So the security guard, the managers can tell you, get the fuck out of my face. Basically. Basically. While they sit there and, and they're still clocked in, right? Yeah, they're still clocked in. But Paula, by the way, is not white. She's African American. And I believe she said she had an emergency to pick up her children. And she looked really, really confused, terrified as to why Bank of America, her car was shredded and she don't have money to fill her gas tank. What happened to Paula? After 4.26 p.m., I'm not quite sure. I hope she got her children okay. But Bank of America, the manager and security guard, they didn't care. Oh, it's documented objectively from a counselor outside on the streets of Georgia Avenue. Yeah, 358. Yeah, yeah, I'm still in. We can go in Rondo. Yeah, this, yeah, thank you for highlighting. Because you will see a time. Stamp. I'll be 426 and 428 p.m. It's gonna be another photo where I met Paula. 
outside the branch. 